Hi everyone! In the second part, I'll begin working on the machine with Z-axis. I printed bearing bodies that hold the screw type gear. I took the ball screw with a standard 1605 size. The axis will go along the round rails SBR16. For this purpose, I bought four modules and one guide rail, which I'll saw further in two parts of 500 millimeters. I made a box of plywood for the guide rails. I'll fix the modules on the other platform which is mounted on the x-axis carriages. On the box, there will be a spindle. I made a fastening for it in the SolidWorks program and also printed it on 3D printer. The course of the Z-axis turned out to be smooth and took 220 millimeters. Now we need to install support bearings and the ball screw. I made the lower support with an adjustment of the screw contraction. I fixed the bracket for a spindle and after that installed all the construction on the portal. The straight grinder with maximum speed of 28,000 turns will serve as a spindle for the machine. Next step will be the installation of the stepping motor's Nemo 23 engines on the Y-axis. A driving belt will serve as a transfer for it and will be installed from two sides in order there would be no portal distortion. I made a platform from plywood for the engines, which will be fastened to the portal carriage. In order the belt can cover the most part of a sheave, I made two runaround rollers.
the belt holds well and flies neither from rollers nor from the sheave. I made the same construction for X-axis, which is on the portal. Since I'd use a wide belt on it, I made the runaround rollers just from bearings, but as it turned out, it didn't work, so... The belt flew down, and I also had to put some plastic patches on them. To connect the stepping motor and the ball screw gear, I used a printed clutch as I haven't found a suitable one on sale. It withstood a lot of hours from work, I just had to pull it up sometimes. The engines are installed, now we need to think about the control. I bought a system unit with an old single core processor and 128 megabyte video card. It has enough space for all the machine electronics. I also bought a 5-axle octocoupler board, drivers for each engine, power supply units for 24 volts, one for the Y-axis and another one for the X and Z-axis. I assembled everything according to the picture I found on the internet. In a time, I connected the wires on twists to the engines for checking purposes. I set the power and ran Match 3 program on the computer then adjusted the signals and checked the axle's movement. I decided to try the machine work from some vector drawing. For this purpose, I made an improvised table and inserted a pencil into the spindle. The first machine pattern turned out well. Then I made a more composite drawing, transferred the channel logo into Vector, and made a control program out of it. I made it for the first time, so not all elements were drawn accurately, but in general, the machine work was clear. There are some small irregularities, a portal still without a bulkhead and vibration from belts, but even such quality is more than enough for me. The second part comes to an end. 
In the next part, I'll be making a table and will try to mill the first detail. Thanks everyone for watching. See you in the next part.